Hello, and welcome to another episode of Paul Place Infinity Factory. So, we're on to Atropus, Atropus Station, um, and we're doing the first puzzle, Landing Alignment Guide. So, um, there is a new block. It's down here, it's bound on the 8. It's called a counter. It's a special type of sensor, which only fires every nth count of a block so I'll just quickly put it down and have a look at it you can adjust it so it fires every second block up to nine so apart from that it's a sensor um, might use one of this level I'm not sure so what we have to do with this one is get this um, cross pattern onto this they're produced like that and we have these are uh, painters. They're very similar to the kind of stampers we had earlier on levels. As blocks move by them, these ones spray paint them obviously white, and that spray paints that one red. And this is the the required solution. So um, what I'm going to do is bring this back a little bit. forward I think I brought that back did I bring that too too far Yeah, and as we see, it's painting it white. So now we need to paint um, this middle section red. So here is as soon as it gets clear of this, which would be this square here, I'm going to lift it up with a lifter, obviously, like that. And then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put a one of these downward facing conveyors here, and let's put some Okay, so that's going to get the the middle one, one done, and let's see where it falls down here. That's one. So I need to be able to lift it up when it's here to paint the top of this. And I won't be able to do this when this is back one. So what in effect I need to do is I think I need this convert this downward facing conveyor back one like that. Let's have a look where I'm at now. Okay, so I see the start of this pattern that we want to do. So for this to fall down, actually, I feel I want the lifter out of the way here. And did that mess the painting up on the back of this? No, it didn't. That's fine. So it gets to there, and now drops down. So, when I need to now figure out where I can, <coughs> where I can lift it up. So, when it gets to this square here, I'd like to lift it up. Thank you. 
Okay. And when it gets lifted, I'd like to then drop it down. So I'd like to pull this lifter out of the way as soon as it gets <coughs> uh, lifted. So what I'm going to do is I would like to attach it to a blocker. Um, like that. And have it like that. Now that isn't going to work because these are both um, on the ground and that can't work there. So what will work though is putting them to start at the start of the solution one block higher. Like that. And now He's going to fall down there, so I need to be, do you all clear of this. And then... A sensor possibly like... Just have a look at that as it comes back up again. Okay, so we've pa we've managed to get the downward stroke done now. So it's a matter of getting it to shifty along. So to get it to shifty along, um, what I'm going to do is uh, move a. move um, one of these conveyors that was there and push it in so if we watch this go comes in at this height here and there like if we, nothing should have been in at this level before. So if we watch this square here, so to the left of that one there. Put a sensor in. And just watch that. And then I think we can just take it out with um, one of these here. So let's have a look at that. And let's make sure we haven't covered it with inappropriate splotches of paint. No, we haven't. So, um, it's a matter of now just getting this final rotation done and getting it in. So what I'd like to do for that is if I just put a, a rotator here, um, and obviously it's got to go this way, which is counterclockwise. If I put a rotator there, what's going to happen is um, the first square it lands on, it's going to rotate. So it'll end up from here, swung out over here. Now, I prefer that didn't happen. If, if the rotator got pushed in when it was here, see this square is...
The rotator got pushed in so it was there. Or even better. Here. So. So the rotator is going here. That's clockwise. That's counterclockwise. There's a pusher. And then what I'm going to do is go up high above it. And it's over here. Bring it forward. And then put a sensor looking um, down. If that isn't doing that rotation, I wonder which part of it is stopping. Let's just make sure it's not this for the fur before I break anything else. that now. It is, I'm pretty sure it's these Oculus Conduits are blocking it from spinning. How good is that? Okay, I mean, it's a little, little bit awkward at the end, but for just so that this uh, video doesn't go on forever, just with me fiddling about with, with a tiny bit at the end, I'm going to call that done. So, um, new, there's a, there's a new block, I haven't used it, um, but it does, it is a, it's a combination of a sensor and a counter and will fire every nth block and you can set it between a number between two and nine. But this is now done. Um, the only the interesting thing is like this. This it looks that it isn't possible to do this. Have a sliding block at ground level because if you place it there, um, obviously it sticks to the ground and it can't work. But if you build this and this at a level one higher, like that, and let them fall into place, they're joined. So when they hit the ground, they still work, and then it joins up with the conduit there. So it's just a little trick to allow you to get things sliding in and out, but on the on a platform that already exists. You don't so when it's absolutely essential that they're on the on the floor. Okay, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, drop a like on the video. That would be great. If you like what you see please do subscribe to the channel and thanks again bye now